the one key piece of advice to get a level 9 at GCSE Edexcel Maths is... Yo! What is up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here make sure to smash that like button, subscribe and join me on my sixth form journey. Now I thought I'd make this video just to talk about like my advice and like top tips on how to get a level 9 in Edexcel 9 to 1 GCSE Maths. So guys, let's get into the video, let's get into the video. So number one guys, number one is exam technique. So literally what I did during my GCSEs for maths, when I went through the paper, I literally spent about 30 seconds on like each question. And if I didn't understand the question and like exactly what I had to do within those first 30 seconds, I literally moved on to the, like, the next question straight away. And I actually did this for the whole paper. So I actually ended up finishing the paper within what, 40, 50 minutes. Like I literally raced through every question and what, what I actually did after that is like, I literally went through like all of my questions and I checked them to make sure I got every single question that I did, that I, I, I actually did previously. I tried to make sure that I got them right so that even if I did leave like 10 questions out in the beginning, like literally because I've got everything else right, well, I got most of what I'd already done right. I knew that like there was less pressure when I was doing other questions. So like that's one like definite key piece of, piece of advice that I'd give to you guys. Is, like literally race through the paper check all of your answers like thoroughly like guys check them like make sure you've got all of them like at least 90% of what you've already done right because like literally the one key tip for GCSE masses if you want to get like a level 9 or like a level 8 it's not necessarily about you getting like the, all of the hard questions right it's just about getting like all of the easy questions right and number two guys number two number two and I cannot stress this enough Guys, you need to do regular work when you're like preparing for your math GCSE. Like, there's no good like banging out like seven hours of maths on one day and then not doing maths for the like the rest of the week. Like, what is like much more effective to do? Like, maybe one hour chunks or like maybe one hour thirty papers like every day for that whole week because that's still gonna add up to seven hours. In I'm not saying you have to do this in it, but like literally just break it down and like make sure you're doing maths every single day because maths is, maths is not English that like, you can just be like <laughs> winging it in the exam like you literally need to be you need to be over prepared for maths like you need because the questions they could they could shake you and give you like one <laughs> one like ridiculous question you know what I mean so like literally you have to like do maths like regularly like every single day or like every other day like just to because like for maths it's like it's not necessarily like just knowing everything it's just like you, you need to be sharp you need to be sharp guys that's the key thing for maths like Maths, you need to be sharp, so make sure you do like regular work in preparation for like your GCSE exams for maths. Because if you like skip a day and stuff, like maths, if you don't do it every day, it's just gonna go like you think you know it, you, you won't know it in the exam. Also, regular work, regular work for maths, guys. Regular work now. Number three, guys. Number three, number three. Now, that now this may seem a bit weird to you guys the fact that I'm not like, talking about textbooks, but like you should not like if you if you've got exams in like a couple months, like you should not be revising like going through your text but like, you should not be eating that text but like, you should literally like like over the course of like your one or two years like preparing for your GCSE maths like you should have been using your textbook to like supplement the like the knowledge that you're gaining in class like if your exams are coming up like you should not be like reading through your textbook like you should just make sure you vaguely know like every topic because as long as you vaguely know like every topic you should be able to like apply it in like in the actual exam situation and like literally your textbook is only there just to like give you the basis of the knowledge because the questions in your textbook are not gonna uh, I cannot stress this do not do textbook questions because they are so pointless like just make sure you've got the, the basic knowledge to understand your lessons and then understand like if the question comes up in the exam what you kind of need to do and then like supplement that with like exam practice because you they, the question that you do like in exam papers like that's what's gonna come up in your actual exam and I'll talk about this later on in the video but like Guys, do not rely on your textbook because if you're relying on your textbook, you're you're not gonna fail, but you're not gonna do as well as you could have done. Like you, if you're doing higher tier, you might get like a six or something, whereas you could have got like a seven or an eight, just like by like supplementing your textbook knowledge with like exam questions. So guys, do not rely on your textbook because you will fail. I'm joking, you won't fail, but you won't do as good, guys. You know, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean. Number four, guys. Number four. Number four. Now, number four is actually revision techniques, and I won't spend too much time because I know everybody's like revision technique is like different. But one thing I would definitely recommend is like, obviously, you need to know like your formulas off by heart. I think I think you still do for nine to one GCSE. So literally, like, what I would recommend is like making flashcards with like a massive poster and just like memorizing every single formula because like literally if you're going into your exam without knowing one formula like i guarantee you that that formula will come up like you know you, 
you know these like <laughs> it's just weird like the one thing you don't know like for an example will definitely it just it just comes up it just comes up guys so like make sure you know all of your formulas off by heart and like i recommend like making like flashcards and stuff and like just like keep just continually doing it until you know it off by heart because like formulas is one thing you definitely need to know and like maybe like some like example like questions and stuff that like you keep like seeing you keep seeing like in like exam papers and stuff you can literally just like put them into like your into your flashcards and stuff and like I'm trying to think like what else so definitely like equations definitely exa example questions and like maybe like measurements and conversions because you never know they, <laughs> these ones could come up as well like just like literal easy kind of stuff that you probably will forget in the exam make sure you put them on flashcards or like posters because yeah they will come up they will come up so that's definitely one piece of advice I'd give to you guys Number five guys, number five, number five, and the one key piece of advice to get a level nine at GCSE Edexcel Maths is past papers guys, past papers. You, you guys, you, you knew what it was man, you knew what it was. Past papers guys, you literally need to hit them as hard as you can like. If if there's one thing that you take away from this video, it is past papers. And the, to be honest, it's the same with like every subject, but more so in maths because literally everything is just like, like your textbook questions aren't gonna help you in maths. Like maybe for English they might, is there an English textbook? <laughs> I don't know, but like literally like for science for example like textbook questions are a bit helpful but like literally for maths you've got to be examined like past period questions because the textbook questions are just so much more easy than like the actual questions like you need to be doing regular like past papers and stuff for maths and like even if you do exhaust like all of the Edexcel papers if you are doing Edexcel 9 to 1 like go and do the OCR ones because at like, the end of the day maths is maths and like yeah like it may deviate somewhat from like your actual syllabus but like it's still going to be helpful the fact that you're doing like 9 to 1 GCSE maths questions like on a regular basis so definitely do that guys and one thing I want to stress so much is do not do the old like papers do whatever you do not do them because they're so easy like the, I remember when I was doing them I was getting like 90 to 100% and like as soon as you if you do like a past paper from the old GCSE and then do a new one like your percentage is going to deviate by what 20 30 percent like literally do not waste time on the old GCSE papers because they just like they just lie to you basically you're not <laughs> it's not going to be that easy like literally just make sure you do the hot like the the difficult nine to one GCSE ones and one thing one thing I was going to say I can't remember what it was Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> I just remembered, I just remembered, I just remembered. Guys, if you are struggling with like Math 9 to 1 GCSE revision, just do a past paper because like chances are you're gonna flop. <laughs> and like when you see yourself flopping, like you're gonna be motivated to like revise and stuff. So like, definitely if you're struggling to do 9 to 1 Math revision, definitely like just do like a quick past paper to like just wake yourself up and like, like so you definitely know that you need to like do work and stuff. So yeah, those are my five tips and stuff for GCSE Maths 9 to 1, edit so or any other exam board if you want. But yeah, I hope you guys did like this video. If you do want to see like more GCSE based like videos, revision based videos, tips and stuff on how to get good grades, then make sure to smash that like button, subscribe and join me on my 64 journey. And guys, thank you so much for like, the support and stuff. We're almost at 500 subscribers. So guys, keep, keep doing what you're doing, innit? Keep doing what you're doing. But yeah, thank you so much for the support, guys. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.